NBC4 has now obtained surveillance video of a violent incident Tuesday afternoon inside John Glenn International Airport. Good evening and thank you for joining us at 5. I'm Ellie Merritt. And I'm Mark Taylor. Actor and comedian Faze on Love is seen in the video repeatedly shoving a valet attendant. Prosecutors say this all stemmed over a fight about a parking fee. Now, Love is now out of jail after posting bail. We'll share more details from the courtroom in just a minute. But first, an emergency alert on a campus building at, at Columbus State Community College evacuated after a student sees a man with a gun. This happened at the Center for Technology and Learning at the corner of Cleveland and Mount Vernon Avenues. An all clear was given, but moments later, classes were canceled for the day. Now, NBC4's Harrison Hove is live on campus where some students say there was a lot of confusion when this all unfolded. Harrison? Well, Ellie, this is the parking lot here at Columbus State's main campus. It's empty tonight, just as evening classes would have been getting underway. No active threat here anymore, but you're right. Some students say they were confused receiving different messages about what was actually happening here earlier. What did he do with the gun? Did he threaten somebody? Yes, he did. That 911 call at 9.52 a.m. triggered an emergency response. Students were evacuated from the Center for Technology and Learning. I didn't know much. Is it that we heard some, like, someone say evacuate and we didn't know what? And so my teacher, like, barricaded the door just in case until like a police officer came. 15 minutes after the original call, the emergency alert issued. Two different messages. A text message warned of a man with a gun, while the phone message said this. CSCC alert. There is an active shooter on the main campus. Do not come to main campus. Flash site until further notice. When I got the phone call and chest messages, I was freaking out. I was just like, got scared and like, wait for my safety and others too. Columbus State Police Chief Sean Asbury says his team got the information out as soon as possible. Our procedure went just as we had had it laid out. It went very well. He defended the emergency phone message reporting an active shooter on campus. We didn't have a template set up for a man with a gun on campus, so we wanted to make sure that we were able to quickly get the information out. Asbury says time is a critical element in these situations. Dispensing that message could have saved lives if the situation escalated. Sending that, that message out was the right move to make. So that we can make sure that our campus remains as safe as possible during a situation like this. Now that suspect is still at large tonight. I'm told he is a black male wearing a brown jacket, a black shirt and black sweatpants. Additionally, Columbus State spokesman just told me that they are looking at surveillance video from inside the TL building right now, trying to identify that man to get a better look at him. I am live on Columbus State's campus tonight. Harrison Hove, NBC4.